Hey, what's up? This is Dan again from Cheap Living in St. Petersburg, Florida. And, uh, of course, my channel is all about living on a budget or living on what you can. And uh, this is part of my cheap computer series. And I would like to take a look at the, uh, if you remember in my other computer video, the disgusting uh, computer that I had. And, uh, like I said, I bought uh, 12 computers for around twelve to fifteen dollars each, they all came out of an office setting that uh, closed down after the pandemic. Now uh, you have to remember that these computers came from an office setting, and I did test most of them to make sure they post into the BIOS. So I would like to really have you guys take a look at how disgusting this computer is before I clean it and completely rebuild it. So here we go. All right. So, uh, as you can see, we're going to start off with uh, the power supply. So, I took the cover off of the power supply. I really hate cleaning power supplies. Thank God rubbing alcohol is non-conductive. And I really hope that this power supply still works. So, I can almost guarantee you, first right off the bat, this computer was probably suffering from major thermal issues in the power supply. However, I do not see any blown capacitors or anything like that but this power supply is absolutely disgusting and uh, I'm gonna clean it very gingerly and gently first I'm gonna dust it off with a, a paintbrush that I buy from the Dollar Tree and then I'm going to uh, use a clean paintbrush and dip it in rubbing alcohol and really give this thing a good douching and a good cleaning Look at the bottom of the power supply fan. Look how disgusting that is. So this thing is going to look absolutely sparkling, brand new, clean when I'm done with it. Alright, so this is the motherboard here. Um, as you can see, again, super disgusting, super dirty. I cannot believe that these computers came out of an office setting. Uh, look at the CPU paste on the um on the cpu itself it's all dried up and nasty uh it's got dust bunnies all over the place i can almost guarantee you there might even be dust underneath the cpu i have not taken it off or taking a look at it yet of course this is the stunt the top of the cd dvd rom i mean that is so gross and disgusting this is the bottom and back of the case after I took the motherboard out. I mean, this thing is absolutely caked and disgusting in dust. And it looks like somebody was smoking near it. Looks like it may have been an office that allowed smoking or something. Because uh, some of this dust has like a yellowish tinge to it. So I'm assuming that it might be nicotine. Uh, underneath this, the, uh, this is the CPU fan here. And as you can see, I mean, this thing is so gross. This is underneath it. I can almost guarantee you that this uh, computer was suffering from thermal throttling and probably wasn't, wasn't running fast. Obviously, you know, you're going to have to sell a computer if it has major issues and starts slowing down because you let it get absolutely disgusting like this. So, uh... I'm glad I got these computers really cheap because then I can flip them. This is the first part of my cleaning PC series of the dirt cheap uh, PCs that I bought. I really hope you enjoy the video. I will get back to you as soon as I'm done cleaning all this, these computer parts and making them super duper sparkling clean. And then I'm going to put the uh, computer together. And I'm going to install Windows 10 on it, and then I'm going to flip it. You guys have a good one. I'll see you guys in a little bit and show you the parts when I'm done. All right, so I just gave this uh, power supply a quick brushing. And as you can see, it's looking so much better. I uh, got rid of that, a lot of the dust and debris, but it still has a lot of work to be done. But anyway, something that I'd like to uh, bring to every computer person's attention and that is that um, for some reason these cables were tied in knots 
And uh, it looks like that the people, whoever the IDT department was, um, I, I got rid of all the knots in these cables. However, um, whoever worked in their IT department, I tell you what, they um, didn't know what they were doing with cable management because these computers were cable managed horribly. So, as you can see, I gave this motherboard a very, very thorough cleaning. I even took off the two chipset heat sinks and I removed the CMOS battery. And this motherboard is looking so much better. Oh, and yes, underneath the CPU, it was caked with dust. I blew so much out of it. So, as you can see, this... Uh, motherboard is looking one hell of a lot better so this is the thing is going to look great when i reinstall it in the case and uh have everything up and running again all right so uh i showed you guys a little bit of how disgusting this computer looked like and a little bit of the work that i did already so far but uh Let's see how this computer looks when it is absolutely, completely sparkling clean. Uh, cleaning everything with uh, paint brushes that I buy from the Dollar Tree and 91% isotropic alcohol. And I blew it out a little bit with my blower. In another video, I'm going to be showing you all the tools that I use for uh, cleaning my computer parts. But anyway, check this out from this $15 computer. Alright, so first we're going to take a look at the motherboard again. I already showed you this, but uh, one million times better. I mean, uh, look at how clean it is. That was the uh, case fan that was absolutely filthy. Um, cleaned it very, very, very well. That's the bottom of the case. Now I have the whole entire case ripped apart. Uh, last procedure that I'm going to do before I put it together is I'm going to take all this little... These little plastic pieces off and that plastic piece off the bottom of the case because it is all completely unnecessary um, this is what the front of the case looks like I mean I have the whole entire computer torn apart here uh, that's what the uh, CD DVD ROM looks like and look at the inside of this power supply after I have completely cleaned it so uh, yeah I mean this thing looks one million times better those are the hard drives i'm going to put in there these are laptop hard drives 7200 rpm one to 250 and one is a 320 gig hard drive another reason why i like to uh, do these old computers is now yeah sure you can complain about and bitch about global warming and stuff like that but more what i'm worried about is mother earth herself and the carbon footprint i mean if we're really going to switch over to uh, electric cars, that's going to be really, really bad for the Earth because uh, what happens when a battery dies? It goes right into a landfill, and all the lithium and chemicals and stuff goes into the Earth. So uh, as far as a carbon footprint, what's the point of this old computer going in the trash when I can make a completely perfect computer out of it and uh, flip it or and or give it to somebody that really can use it? Anyway, I will be back to you as soon as I have completely 100% finished with my PC build of the $15 PC. Alright, so this is the finished $15 computer that I cleaned. Uh, as you can see, this thing is ready to rock and roll to install Windows 10 in it and uh, super duper clean. Uh, like I said, those are two older uh, laptop drives. They're both uh, 7200 RPM. Uh, the top one is 250 gigs. The bottom one is 320. Um, I'll probably flip this thing for between 65 and 75 bucks, I would say. Definitely a capable computer if you follow the cheap upgrade path for gaming. And or you can leave it as is as a regular office PC I will be installing one of those older graphics cards in this machine and uh, I mean look at the cable management and everything here's a 
panned out view of the whole entire machine. If I can get a little bit further, I mean, look at that to compared what it was, all absolutely dirty and disgusting. And now it's beautifully clean, good cable management. And uh, in closing, I would like to say that it is definitely worth every penny for being a uh, $15 computer. Like I said, I'll probably flip it for around 75 bucks. as I'm assuming what I'll get for it. It's uh, equipped with uh, 8 gigs of RAM, DDR3, and uh, a Q8300 4-core CPU. Hope you guys enjoy the content. Please send me a like. Definitely leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a good one.